from London West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Speaker, there is a mounting crisis in London because of a lack of mental health beds. This week, we learned about 18-year-old patient Jennifer Watts, who was forced to sleep on the hospital floor in the emergency room at Victoria Hospital. This is not an isolated case. It reflects a systemic problem. As a London Health Sciences executive said today, we cannot continue on this path and expect different results. It is time for fundamental change. Can the minister explain when this fundamental change is coming? Well, thank you. Um, I can tell you, uh, Speaker, that I was uh, very disturbed when I heard the story that the, uh, the member opposite is referring to. I know the hospital is investigating. They are understanding what happened, and we have to make sure that that does not happen again. Speaker, we are investing heavily in supports for people with mental health challenges. We are doing a lot to keep them out of hospital, out of the emergency department. Is there more we need to do? Absolutely yes, Speaker. There's more we need to do in London, and as I say, I know London Health Science Center Member from is Huron, Bruce will come to order. a solution so this does not happen again, but we also need across the province to do more to support people with mental health challenges. That's why we have made some significant improvements, including Answer. the 24-hour uh, crisis line, Speaker, that is actually helping people get the right care. There is more to do, and I'll speak to that in the supplementary. Supplementary. Uh, thank you, Speaker. The minister talks about investing in mental health services and making improvements, but the reality tells us a different story. London is about to lose almost 150 psychiatric beds, and there isn't sufficient capacity in the community to meet the needs of patients. One of my constituents in London West has been living at London Health Sciences Centre for 10 months because there is nowhere else for him to live safely in the community. The lack of community services means that patients with mental health diagnoses end up in crisis and are left waiting for days in the emergency room. I ask the minister again, what is she doing to address this crisis in London and across the province? Thank you. 